All right. Shabbat Shalom, fam, or Shalom, uh, depending on the time uh, where you're at. But I just want to welcome you all to House of Rest, where we're always in a good season and time to be alive, alive, alive. And we welcome you to day 183. And we are talking about the fall feast of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> still talking about actually we're going to discuss terroir a little bit more because i found the message hidden within that word um when you put the when you take each letter and you um break down the meaning of the letter each letter has a a significant meaning to it and so when you break it down it has a a, a code and hidden and hidden in it and, and I believe that each and every one of his um, feast uh, atonement has a has a um, a hidden you know message in it. Tabernacles most likely has a hidden message in it. So so we 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 stop and we we consider you know and at least look into matters. But I just thank Yah. I thank y'all today. I thank y'all for the prayers that went forth last night and being able to to join, you know, with that. That was a blessing and having my brother Corey join in with us on there. And uh, you may you may see a little bit more of more of them, you know, in the prayers if if um you know if y'all permits it. So hallelujah to that when we are able to come together and and work in unity to bring forth yah's uh message and also to just give him glory hallelujah and praise him together and one and hot so i thank y'all for that because there are so many different times guys when there are things going on and um you know we just we just all kind of have moments and times where we have so much going on that we we kind of get sidetracked but hallelujah yah yah will um he will he would deal with us you know he he would deal with us and i tell you um last night i i it was something that mika did that just was was it was awesome you know it, it was just awesome to me she um me and her and emmanuel got down and we prayed together because her normally i'm not here at night so when i when i am here uh some nights well, uh, if I'm not working on anything, me, Mika, and Man will pray together. And so last night we all prayed together, and I mean we we prayed, and so me and Mika went back out and we started um listening to it. Well, we were listening to this lady that had went through the whole satanic ritual abuse thing. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of her. You can look it up, and she has a pretty intense story. Uh, Anika. Lucas um is a very intense story, but you know it 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 just made me you know made us sit there and wonder. So we we was actually also like reading scripture while we were listening to this and studying. Uh, and when Tamika said I'm about to go lay down, I was like, okay. So I walked back there in the room, and guys, she getting on her knees to pray again. So I was like, oh, I thought you already prayed. She was like. I got something else that I need to bring to him. And I was just like, you know what? I'm about to do the same thing. I mean, sometimes, you know, I told her, because she think that she she always, you know, she think that she learns from me, but we we all learn from each other. Right? And and just seeing her willingness to to do that, to go in and pray again, I was just like, hallelujah, you know, hallelujah. I, you can never, you can never uh, send up, you can never send up too much prayers, huh? So 
when she did that, that was a blessing to me. And it, it, you know, I went in there and I kind of had things to bring to them as well. So I brought some things to them. Uh, guys, keep me in prayer. My, it's like my, I don't know, is it, Mika? I think me and Mika had this conversation, but it's like my dreams are sealed up. And then once certain things begin to happen, that's when they come back to mind. So I don't, I, I'm, you know, sometimes I know that the enemy tries to snatch our dreams because you have, a, you know, dream snatchers that come along and try to snatch your dreams. But then at times too, uh, kind of like Daniel, where he said, seal up the book there. And then even um, John, he said, don't write that in the book, seal it, seal it up, you know. And, and there's certain times that we're not able to actually know at the moment. You know, you get what I'm saying? It's like he revealing something to you, but it's, it's for a season and time before it could be, you know, put out there. Um, and so I don't know. I was, I know, I know I had a series of dreams and, and I can't remember none of them. <laughs> I can't remember none of them, but I know that, um, yeah, this time that we're in, uh, this is when the, 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 how can I put it? The spiritual realm and the natural realm are at its, uh, thinnest because of the, the equinox, right? There is a, a spiritual shifting. Um, last night, and Brother Corey, he normally comes on about, uh, 12 midnight on one of the prayer groups. And he was going, you know, he going out and he blowing the show for him, man. You hear owls. You even hear this dude riding down the street and he's literally yelling, I will kill anybody. I will kill anybody. And so at that moment, I'm thinking to myself, wow, how is this going to, how is this going to unfold? You know, how is this going to unfold? And you see Corey kind of, you know, stop and just kind of, you know, paying attention to the surrounding. And and it was weird. It was very weird, like for the dude. And and guys, I have I seen that manifestation when we were in Minnesota. A guy just walk up and he's standing in front of the door that I'm trying to, you know, the hotel I'm trying to walk back in. And he just standing there like rapping and using derogatory language. And it was just like, it's like four in the morning. What are you doing out here? Like rapping. You know what I mean? So guys just as we are rallying the troops and blowing shofars and the shofars are, remember the shofars are, are calling for his people to assemble. And it also, uh, it lets the heavens know, right? You think those, those, those tequila blasts, you think that we're just blowing the shofar and it's just, you know, just the, the sound ain't going nowhere. Oh, the sound is resonating in heaven. It's resonating there before Abba. And guess what? Those same sound that is going up, those angels are blowing their shofars as well. And the sounds are meeting at a meeting point. Hallelujah. And so we send up the prayers. We send up uh, the, t the, the shofar blast. And guys, as I look more and more into this, I'm, I'm realizing that even, even as we go into Shabbat, we're supposed to blow a show far, even as the 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 uh, full moon. When the full moon is here, you're supposed to blow the show far. Now I want to read something to y'all. Um, I want to read something that is, is very neat. And I, brother Dan read it this this morning on the prayer group. Um, it's Leviticus chapter twenty five starting from verse eight and it's proclaiming the year of the jubilee and remember this is something that yahusha he proclaimed liberty right he came to set the captives free so look at the year of jubilee right okay leviticus 25 8 and thou shalt number seven sabbath of years unto thee seven times seven years right so that's 49 years and the space of seven sabbath of years shall be unto thee 49 years so that's 49 years then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. That's the day of atonement, God. Shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. Now, I know that next week, next week, we'll be celebrating um, the 
Day of Atonement. And but some people are celebrating, you know, some people are celebrating, um, you know, uh, I think it's Tabernacles. And then some people will be so, but everybody will be kind of celebrating a feast like next Friday, right? And so he said, Thou shalt. Then shout that, and remember, guys, this is all rehearsal. So even though there are many different, uh, you know, there are like a couple different calendars floating around, let Yah be the the judge of that, because because what's gonna what what he's gonna judge is your heart, your willingness, and and you know, I had a conversation uh, earlier with one of my sisters earlier in the, the week where we were discussing about the new moon and how that got even got um it it got mistranslated in scripture but it also got uh they they gave it another they gave the new moon another form which is that that when the moon is in the black and you get you know that little that, see that little sliver that that's not that's not scriptural that's something that came out of babylon and so as we go into this this feast day that is coming up the day of atonement and it says then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day, the seventh month, and the day of atonement shall make the the trumpet sound throughout all your land. Now, I will say this: the full moon is what David considered the new moon. And, and guys, I, I hanging around Brother Dan, I'm beginning to learn a lot more about this this stuff. Um, and so so I'm getting a better understanding. And I was just telling Tamika last night, I said, you know what? I think I'm going to start observing um, the feast days. I'm going to start counting them off myself. Once, uh, like, for instance, when we get ready to come into Passover, I'm going to look at whenever the full moon is there and declare that as the, you know, the date, you know, the time around. Because it says when the new moon or, or and, and new moon would be a full moon. So I, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure this all out. But I just want to do it right. And they would have observed it by not just the moon, but they would have observed it by the sun, the moon, and the stars. If I'm not mistaken, they didn't just have a calendar where they just observe one uh, cycle. And so what they're doing over in Israel, that's a Babylonian thing. And even one of the Hebrew boys was named after their moon. moon their moon to God, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think it was a bit and go. But anyways, um what what will come out of this when we look look what verse 10 say on Leviticus chapter 25 verse 10. And ye shall hallow the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be a jubilee unto you and shall return every man unto his possession and ye shall return every man unto his family. Now, guys, I, I can't say whether this is a jubilee year or not, but it's darn sure seeming close to be something similar to one, right? Because next, next week, everybody will be celebrating, uh, even if it ain't the Day of Atonement, they'll be celebrating something on that day. And I know we'll be celebrating the Day of Atonement, like I said, I, not sitting up there declaring that we got it right, but I do know this that the trumpet of jubilee uh, of the jubilee to will sound, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna declare liberty. Why? Because that's the acceptable day of Yah, the day of atonement, and who is our who atoned for us? Yahusha Mashiach, right? Yahusha Mashiach. He's the one that atoned for us. Now, uh, let's look at. One more time, Leviticus chapter 23. Let's look at Leviticus chapter 23. I'm throw it up on the screen. Leviticus 23, verses 24 and 25. All right, and then we're going to focus on Numbers 29, 1 through 6 today. So it says, Speak unto the children of Yahshua, saying in the seventh month, in the first day of the month, right? Shall ye have a Shabbat, a memorial blowing of shofar rope, a holy assembly? Ye shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. 
Now, last night, we did offer an offering made by fire, right? The Ruach HaKodesh was the fire, our prayers with the offerings. Hallelujah. And guys, I know that there are some of us that couldn't um, take time off because of the way our companies try to, um, they try to set things, right? But, but what they don't realize is because they didn't honor because you wanted to honor y'all's feast in your heart, right? And it and it's grieving you because guess what, God? I I I have to go back. I had to go back to work today at four o'clock. So technically, right? I'm I'm kind of I'm gonna be on the clock, but I'm gonna try my best is not to do any 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 work, right? And and I, and for those of you, and trust me, it grieves me that I even have to go get on that clock. But I guess for now on, I need to do two days instead of one day. Um, I was trying to set it up where I could go back at six, but well, the enemy always tries to rear his ugly head. Well, you know that I'm missing a guy. So if 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 I don't go into a six, that'll put us two hours behind, which will mean that we will get out, you know, about three in the morning. And um, I, I don't know. I, I just, I try to be out of there by by a certain time, especially one of my guys have to drive an hour away. So uh, I don't want people, you know, being halted at that time in the morning, especially if we can get out of before then now. It's a possibility, you know, I can get in there and other guy, you know, somebody from day shift is there because y'all normally make sure that it works out. And so that's what I'm praying that the other guy from day shift decide to stay and he go ahead and pull all the stuff that need to be pulled. And I can kind of just do, uh, you know, my my administrative work until till I get done, uh, you know, till till Shabbat is over. So that's one thing. Or I could just call and say, hey, and that's what I'm debating on. If I'm going to call and say, hey, I might be here a little bit late. But I will say this. the These places, these places of business that is not honoring that all this, this whole system. That's why I'm laying on and I don't stress it. This whole system is coming down. This whole system is coming down because they don't honor y'all's feast they don't honor yeah they, they, now they'll close up for christmas won't they yeah they'll close up for the pagan days but they do not honor y'all's feast and and then you know it, it's counted as a strike against you and and all that you try to do you know if you call out then you know that's a strike on you if you you know and it, it's just hard to hard you know but Hallelujah. We're gonna we're gonna trust y'all that he's gonna he's gonna change all this, right? So let's jump to numbers chapter. I did put it in here. Numbers chapter 29. And let's read that. And it's just verses one through six. And in the seventh month on the first day of the month, ye shall have a holy assembly. Ye shall do no servile or work. It is Yom Teruah. You see that? Yom Teruah unto you. So remember what we said. Uh, Terawai is a day of blasting, a day of shouting, and we'll touch on a little bit of scripture with this in a little bit. And you shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year without blemish, right? And so now we know uh, that this burnt offering, right? This, and you shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. So what, what is the, our burnt offering now? It's that, that becomes that sweet savor. It's our prayers. Hallelujah. We lift up prayers unto Yah. And then it says, one young bullock, one ram, seven lambs of the first year without blemish. And their, and their meat offering shall be a flour mingled with oil, three temp deals for a bullock, and two ten deals for a ram. And one ten deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs, right? And one kid of the goats for a sin offering to make an atonement for you. Yep, to make an atonement for you. 
So, so even in the, the Feast of Yom Teruah, there's still a sin offering that is given and we'll go and make to make atonement for you. And it, it was the same way with same way with Passover. And then look at it with unleavened bread. Unleavened bread, what do we 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 don't eat no nothing with yeast. We we just do um unleavened bread throughout those 10 days. And so one time me, uh Sandy Amika, <laughs> we we went out to eat during the, the while she was here during the feast of unleavened bread. And I think, yeah, it was it was after the Shabbat. And uh, we got there, we ordered hamburgers, and we realized we can't eat the bread. <laughs> so those people thought we were crazy because we were keeping the feast of the eye. She, and the lady said, why are y'all getting the, the bread removed? And we told her why. She was like, oh, that was pretty, that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. And I said, well, you know, um, it's something that, that need to be observed through, throughout all generations with uh, those that cause it and you know we explain to them how the, the church doesn't observe any of these they they think passover is easter i mean that was that was very i think there's a lot of us and i know i know that i have talked to many of my brothers and sisters that christmas was a burden it was it was something that just never sat right it never resonated in your spirit right it never resonated in your spirit and so I just, I don't know. I just, as a kid, I just never, you know, I liked it as a kid because at first it was gifts. And, but when I got older and I realized, hold on, my parents would rather lie to me and tell me that Santa Claus exists and and bring me, you know, bring me stuff that, you know, going to probably last a you know, little while, depending on how quick it took us to tear it up, right? Um, spending all your hard-earned money on that. And just, you know, it just, I don't know, it just never sat right with me. And and so even with Easter, I was like, why is it a bunny bringing eggs? doesn't make any sense. So I, I began to look into these matters, and I kind of clear understand. And even Halloween, like a lot of people don't know that, it's not called Halloween, it's called Samween. And it basically, the you know where it derives from, and we'll talk about that as we get closer because we are falling into that season, and we're we're on. I'm pretty sure on threshold floor we'll just discuss all these things with these different holidays because even as we we you know are going into our feast, the beast feast they have coming up as well, and even during like uh, certain days in September and October and over that. I mean, there are ritual sacrifices going on. And, and brothers and sisters, I told Tamika last night, I said, how is it that the people in the institution, which I call the church, they don't have a clear understanding that people, because, well, first off, they don't read the Old Testament, so, or the, the Torah and Tanakh, they don't read it, so they, they don't, they think that all that stuff was done away with. So, uh, you know, they don't see abortions as sacrifice. They don't see, you know, human trafficking. They don't understand it. They It's like, oh, Yahusha did away with all that. And we we have a, you know, a right to the tree of life. And it's like, well, what about the signs that he said will be between him and his, his children forever? What about the, the covenant that was made that in agreement you will guard his commandments, not just the one that I don't know if, if we can even say that that one is being guarded because you you claim to love all, but you choose who in you choose who it who it who is okay to to serve alongside you inside that building and then you you know put heavy burdens on on people um i remember one time i'll be you know you need to stop smoking you need to stop doing this i'm like okay it will happen but it ain't gonna be at your time and like don't come at me you know what i'm saying don't come at me and you know that type of stuff make you not even make you not even want a fellowship it makes you not even want to be around those people because you know only Yah 
y'all will judge, you know, according to the standards of what's going on. And so, guys, when we're going into these feast days, y'all are judging us according to our the intent of our heart to rehearse these days, right? And and honestly, guys, let, let's just look at it like this. Y'all right now is paying attention at this uh describes a, a sweet smelling savor burnt offering right it's a sweet smelling savor that rises up to his throne well this is what we do when we when we sacrifice that time to to rehearse throughout this year and, and guys I'm, I'm glad you know because think about it you would have had to either if you didn't have uh, these animals and things that you needed you would you had to go purchase them, but but he has given us, uh, you know, we brothers and sisters, we have privilege. Yahusha helped us where we don't have to have to um, go through that extra amount, and yet we're still too lazy. We're still too lazy just to observe, just to observe and. And, and 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 pay attention, right, to the to the things that he he is calling us to do. Watch this, guys. Let, let's look at that word. Let's look at that word teruah, right? There there's a hidden message in teruah. So the first letter is the tav right here. That's the tav. And I'm I just put the paleo uh, the the modern Hebrew up there, but this is the tav, right? And actually, the tav looks like a a cross or an X, so it it means sign, covenant, cross, which we, we you know Exodus. Look at Exodus thirteen, Hebrews twelve, Matthew twenty six, twenty eight. Let's look at Hebrews thirteen first, right? Let's look at Hebrews thirteen and see what it says. Oh, Exodus was it Exodus thirteen? I think yes, Exodus thirteen. 13. Sorry about that. Let's look at Exodus 13, 13. Let's see what it says. All right. Watch this, brothers and sisters. He said, in every... Uh-oh, did I get that wrong? In every firstling of... Yep, I got it wrong. It must be 31, 13. Let's see. Yeah, okay. It's... it's Exodus 31, 13. It says, Speak thou also unto the children of Yahshua, saying, Verily, my Sabbath ye shall keep, for it is a sign. You see that? His Sabbath is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am Yahuwah that do sanctify you. You see that? Verse 14, You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defiles it shall surely be put to death. But whosoever do of any work there in that soul shall be cut off from among his people. So now as you go down to verse 16, it says, Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. That means a, a ongoing, it, it, it's a covenant that, that is ongoing throughout their generations, right? And then in verse uh, 17 it says, it is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, Yahuwah made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. Hallelujah. So so we see that that Tav, right, it's a sign. So you got the Sabbath that is a sign. Then what did Yahusha say? He said that uh, then immediately after these things, you shall see the sign of the Son of Man coming you know, in the sky. And then you got Hebrews 12 and 12, which touches on the covenant, right? Hebrews 12 and 12. Let's look at that. Hebrews 12 and 12. Make sure I got this right. Okay. I got that one wrong too. What the world? I gotta find it. Okay, it's Hebrews 12 and 2. How did I do that? Let me see something. Oh, it's Hebrews 12 and 2. Okay, I got this one wrong. 
31, 13. All right, so it's Hebrews 12 and 2. Hebrews 12 and 2. Uh, look what he says. Looking unto Yahusha, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the what the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahuwah Elohim. Right? So hallelujah to that. And what does he tell us? That we must bear our cross daily. So the cross also, that's a uh, what the what the tab represents, and then you got Matthew twenty six twenty eight uh, that that talks about the covenant, right? Matthew twenty six twenty eight that touches on the covenant. So here we go, Matthew twenty six twenty eight. All right, for this is my blood of the renewed covenant which is shared for many for the remission of sin right for this is my blood that of the renewed covenant which is shared for many for the forgiveness of sin so see that so the tav as well touches on that now watch this resh the head head person or the prince where well, Isaiah 9 and 6 describes Yahusha as the prince of what? Peace. Watch this. Finally. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For a child is born unto us, a son is given unto us, and the rule is on his shoulders. And his name is called Wonderful, Counselor, Strong Ale, Father of continu continuity and Prince of Peace. You see that? Prince of Peace. And so here you go. You got the rest that describes the head person or the Prince of Peace. Uh, and now Yahusha is that, that head person, right? He's the head of the body, right? And now you have the valve, right? Which is the iron nail, which connects together. So in other words, let's look at Numbers chapter 10. Verse two, what what does the sounding of the shofar do? And well, in Numbers chapter 10, verse two, watch this. Make two silver trumpets for yourself. Make them of beaten work, and you shall use them for the gathering of the congregation and for breaking and for breaking camp. So it either gathers, right? So it gathers together the congregation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, so it, it gathers the, but now it says that for the breaking, and for breaking count, which is journeying, right? So, and now watch this, and when the and when they blow, both of them, all the congregation shall meet before you at the door of the tent of appointment. So, the the terroir, the blast, right? They they cause them to connect, come together, right? And now watch this, you got I in. This is this one, I-N, right? Which which means to see and understand, and this is for the nations or the nations, right? So Revelation chapter two, let's look at Revelation chapter two. Revelation chapter two, verses nine through 11, watch this. I know your words and pressure and poverty, yet you are rich. And the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a congregation of Satan. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. See, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison in order to try you, and you shall have pressure 10 days. Now, this is something that, that, that I told Tamika last night. I said, ain't it funny that right here he describes it as 10 days, that you will have pressure 10 days, and after the Feast of Yom Teruah, Right. They uh, it's something that they call the, the 10 days of awe, which I have not found no biblical evidence for the 10 days of awe. Uh, but the 10 days is a is a trying time where they go through, uh, you know, emptying out things that may uh, 
cause them to have burden or be, you know, to to have sin in their life. And so they're there's they're they're called the really the 10 days of repentance, of teshuva, of turning back to Yah, right? If there was anything in your heart that is wrong, you you clean it up now. Then they would have to bring a, a sacrifice, right? But watch this. Yah said, be tr trustworthy unto death, and I should give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear. Remember what I in it says, uh it, it means to to see or hear. So he who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says unto the assembly. He who overcomes shall by no means be harmed by the second death. So the 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 shout of the of the uh blast should also give you eyes to see and and ears to hear and understand. So so oh man, this means that that uh we need to we need to assemble together. We need to recognize that the head person that made the covenant is close. Cause watch this. And the word, the letter hey, that's this letter. It means revelation or look up. So what does Luke chapter 21, verse 8 say? Luke chapter 21, verse 28. It says, And when these matters begin to take place, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. Right. And why did he say that? He said, because in verse 25, and there shall be signs of the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth, anxiety of nations. Don't we see that right now? And bewilderment, bewilderment at the roaring of the sea and agitation. And we see that they guys, do y'all know that they have started uh they can't even give names to the hurricanes no more. So I would I would consider this bewilderment at the roaring of the sea and agitation of the, you know, because the hurricanes are now being numbered with the Greek alphabet. That's how, how many hurricanes have formed this year, right? So it says, men fainting, fainting, fainting from fear and expectation of what is coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then they shall see the son of Adam coming in a cloud with power and much esteem. And when these matters begin to take place, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. Now, let me show you the, the, the message in this because each one of these letters, Tav, Resh, Bob, Ayin, Hey, they also have a message encoded in it. Watch this. The divine appointed time when Yah sent his son because of the insufficiency of man in the world through sin Perfect spiritual order is carried out with all spiritual power and significance. His power is revealed that you may bring to mind the goodness of Yah and then look up, call on his name. Teruah, hallelujah. We call on your name, hallelujah. Oh, Father, we come to you right now. We ask that we all gain a good, clean understanding of your word, Father, that as we uh, go through these days, Father, and and some of us are going through the the days of of Teshuva, and we are we are letting go of things, Father. We ask that you help us to to shed off uh, those those weight of sin that easily beset us, Father. Whether they be thoughts, whether they be actions, whether they be uh, works, Father. Whatever whatever it is, Father, we ask that you cleanse us of all app nor abnormalities father anything that is not of you anything that is not of your word father we ask that it, it cleanses us out we ask for your help and we ask for your guidance and your direction father you told us that we acknowledge you in all our ways then you shall direct our path you told us that we call unto you you will show us great and mighty things which we know not you told us that your ear are attentive to the call of the righteous but your face is turned from the wicked so father we ask that you hear and climb thine ear unto thy servant. Hear us as we call unto you. As we set up, sends up this sweet smelling savor, Father, as we're connected. Join here right now, Father, as a family, Father, and unity in a high in, in your son. Hallelujah, your son Yahusha. Hallelujah. As we all celebrate, Father, and worship. Hallelujah. And we go through these these times, Father, we, we're, we we get so focused on the calendar, but Father, you told us to be focused on you. So let us focus. Let us focus just on, on the intent of just celebrating and rehearsing 
Father, before you, as we get prepared to go into the marriage supper of Yahuwah, the marriage supper of Yahusha, hallelujah. Help us to be ye ready. Help us to have our minds girded. Help us to be sober-minded. Hallelujah. 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 That we may be able to come before you, Father. That we may be able to just spend our time with you. Hallelujah. And, and receiving that comfort and rest. Hallelujah. That you have given unto us. You said that your Sabbaths are a sign. Hallelujah. And a... a, a perpetual covenant through all generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who we just thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we pray right now that you help us. Help us to stay before you. Help us to fall on our face, Father, and consistently let our let, let our petition be made unto you. But Father, help us to send up supplication. We look at our nation right now, Father, and it's divided worse than ever, Father. It seems as if there is something big on the horizon, Father. And Father, if people say, well, man is doing it, or, or the wild fires a bit. No, 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 Father. You have allowed these things to happen. This is your judgment, Father. The book of Revelation never said how the fires would be started. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It just describes the trumps and then the uh, or the, uh, the seals being broken, and then things would take place, Father. So, Father. No matter what timeline we are in, help us, Father. Help us to, to, to reach others, Father, that, that don't know you, Father. Help us to speak to others, oh, Father. And, and Father, when that fear begins to overtake us, hallelujah, let, let us remember that that's why we must deny ourselves. Because fear is always going to try to step in and bring doubt and to, and to, and to cause us to, to, to look the other way. But, Father, help us, help us, help us to stand proudly, to stand boldly and just proclaim your name. Hallelujah. As that said, to, to, to look up and call upon your name. Hallelujah. Every time that, that shofar sounds, hallelujah. 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 Father, we pray right now. We pray for your help. We pray, Father, as we look at this world, this sin sick world, Father, where, where people's riding around on bike yelling that they would kill somebody at 12 midnight. People uh, out at 4 a.m. in the morning just, just rapping derogatory things and, and messages and just hearts are, are, are continually evil. People are, are, are just uh, paying for, for, for thugs and, and different people to, to go into these different cities and try to destroy, hallelujah, the cities. But Father, you told us, hallelujah, to let our flight not be in the Sabbath, hallelujah, or in the winter. So we pray right now, hallelujah, because the winter is when, when everything kind of goes into a, a rest state, a hibernation state. But that will be the perfect time, hallelujah. That'll be the perfect time, hallelujah, to catch everybody with their pants down. So Father, help us to, to have ourselves ready. Help us to have our hearts and our mind focused on you. Father, that 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 they, they, they wonder why they are burning the forest. It's given it, it doesn't give you a, a place of a refuge if the if, if the fires consume it all. Hallelujah. If another nation comes in, hallelujah, they're trying to to destroy all the places to hide on the coastlands. Hallelujah. So that that way you have nowhere to flee. Hallelujah. Not on the coast. Hallelujah. So Father, we pray. We pray. Hallelujah that our brothers and sisters stay high, stay united in your word, hallelujah, seeking you daily, hallelujah, not just, not just at a, uh, uh, you know, when they need something, but daily, hallelujah, coming. You told us to seek your face while you may be found, to seek you while you may be found, hallelujah, hallelujah. You told us that you will never leave us, nor forsake us. So, Father, we ask, that just as you said that you will bear us on eagles' wings, do it once more. Show your people. Help us to walk in that power and authority that you have given us. You said that you have given us all power and authority to tread over serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. So help us, Father. Help us. Hallelujah. 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 Help us. Help us, Abba. Because we know that Hasatan knows that he has but a short time. And, and it seems like just since uh, uh, the year, the new millennium came in, there has been so much 
chaos and, and, and destruction. Hallelujah. Happening just at such a, a fast pace in, in, in 20 years. Hallelujah. And and now just this year, it seems to, to have increased. It seems like uh, <clears throat> that the agenda, hallelujah, is is they're, they're trying to do it so quick and so fast that people's eyes are coming open. So, Father, whatever it takes for people's eyes to come open, you continue to move. Hallelujah. Because all power is in your hand and all things have been placed under your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah, Abba. Hallelujah. We glorify your name and your son, Yahusha name. Amen. Hallelujah. just having his way today let's look at a couple other scriptures and then we're going to close out all right <clears throat> so let's look at psalm <clears throat> psalm 81 hallelujah i just felt led to pray then there are many that are still sleeping guys uh what it was psalm 81 3 It says, blow a shofar in the new moon in the covering for the day of our festival. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let, so so we, we blow the shofar. We make a, make a, right? A joyful noise. So blow the shofar. But look, look at this psalm starting from verse 81. Look what they're doing. Shout for joy to Elohim our strength. Raise a shout to the Elohim of Yako. Lift up a song and beat the tambourine, the pleasant lyre, and the harp. Blow a shofar in the new moon in the covering for the day of the festival. Hallelujah. For this is a law for Israel and a right ruling for the Elohim of Yako. Right? So, so look. And look where it goes back to. It goes back to Leviticus 23. And then it goes back to Numbers 10 and 10. Right? And it says, In the day of your gladness and in your appointed time, and at the beginning of your new moons, you shall blow the trumpets over the ascending offerings and over your slaughterings of peace offerings, and they shall be a remembrance for you before Elohim. I am your Elohim. And then you got Numbers 29, verse 1. And then right here it says, and in the seventh new moon on the first day of, of, of the new moon, you have a set-apart gathering to do no servile work. It is Yom Teruah for you, the day of sounding noises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Abba is, is really uh, dealing with all of us. Hallelujah. And, and teaching us, right, along the way. Hallelujah. And I think uh, it will all come into sync. Hallelujah. We we will all come into to sync and and do what Yah has caused to do. Watch this Psalm 89, 15. Blessed are the people who know the sounding. Blessed are the people who know the sounding. They walk, O Yahuwah, in the light of your face. The sounding of the shofar. Blessed are they that know it, that hears it. And, and recognizes it and begins to to uh, utter repentance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch this, guys. Isaiah 27, 13. And in that day it shall be that a great shofar is blown. Whoa. And those who were perishing in the land of Asher and the outcasts in the land of Mitzrayim shall come and worship Yahuwah on the set of power mountain in Yerushalayim. Then you got Zechariah 9, 14. Look what it said. And Yahuwah shall appear for them, and his arrow go forth like lightning. And the master Yahuwah sound with the shofar, right? And he shall go with whirlwinds from the south. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 15, verse 28. So all Yisrael brought up the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah with shouting. 
and with the voice of a shofar, with trumpets and with cymbals sounding with harps and lyres. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abba, we thank you. We thank you for, for your days that you have given us to just honor you. And we pray that as we, we do these days, Father, that you unite us as one and help us to, to walk circumspectly, carefully, paying attention in, to the season and time. Hallelujah, O oh, Yahuwah Elohim. Yahuwah Eloheinu. Ra, Kazak, Amat, Yahuwah. Love y'all in that. Hallelujah. So, guys, it's that time, hallelujah, where we blow the shofar. So, I don't have my phone. So, here you go. When you hear the sound of the shofar, uh, like, share, <laughs> subscribe. I'm going to try this one more time. Let's see. night down to like the edge of our apartment like where it's like woods and stuff at and i was just down there like blowing show falls and and there were people like sitting on our porch so i know they probably wonder what in the world is that um i just i just decided to to go down and do it hallelujah feel led by the spirit hallelujah so abba you have your way and guys i truly thank y'all as always, for joining up today with us. It's always an honor to fellowship and serve alongside each and every one of you. So hallelujah, hallelujah. Always remember to look up for your redemption draws nigh. I love you. Yahuwah loves you. Don't forget to say thank you, Yahusha. Love you guys. We'll be talking soon. Shalom, shalom.